Hi there, welcome to part six of the Rails API tutorial. In previous videos, we created a controller action for listing all the books in the system and for creating new books. Before we move on to something else, let's add a, an endpoint for deleting books. First, let's jump over to RootsRB. And if you remember, we have this books resource, which is restricted to only an index and a create. To add a, a controller for deleting books, the Rails root for that is destroy. So if I add that, uh, pop open the console and run bin Rails roots, you can see we have the existing index and create, and then we have this new delete route where the path is books slash ID. So that means that the user passes in a parameter into the URL and that parameter gets named ID uh, by Rails and we can use that in the controller to find the book. So let's jump over to the controller now and we'll add a new um, action called destroy. And we know we need to find the book. So we can use the active record books model and that has a method called find, which takes uh, an ID. So in this case, we would be finding the book in the database with an ID of one. But what we can do is use the params and use the params hash and look up the ID, which we know we have from this root here. So that will uh, look up a book using the ID, which was supplied by the user. Once we've found the book, we can call destroy on it. And I'm going to use destroy bang, which will return true if we find and successfully destroy the book. If it fails, it will return an exception, which we can handle in future videos. We also need to return a status code to the user in the case where the book is successfully destroyed. And this time, instead of rendering some JSON, I'm just going to use a head response, which will return a status code in the head of the response, but no body. And for the status code, I'm just going to use no content. So no content is a 204 and um, yeah, there's no real reason to return a JSON body here because the the record has just, just been deleted, so it's not really not really useful to the client, I don't think. Now we have our destroy root and controller action. Let's test this out with curl. So if I first of all I'll open the Rails console and find a book for us to destroy. So let's list all of the books. And we have a couple there. So let's just return the first one. So we have the um, this book called Rails API and it has an ID of one. So using our new endpoint, we should be able to delete that book. So we'll do a curl request and we'll give it the usual, the usual header of content type uh, JSON, uh, application JSON and we also need the URL in there so HTTP localhost 3000 the endpoint is books and we'll add the ID of one. I'll also give it the dash V 
for verbose mode just to see what's going on. And I think the only thing we're missing is the request type, which would be delete. And that looks to be okay. Let's give that a try. And what do we get? Oh, yeah, I don't think I'm actually running the server. So let's jump over here and run the server. There we go. Let's try this again. So we've got a delete request was performed, 204 no content and no body. So it looks like that was successful. Now let me open the console again, book.find ID, uh, book.find book .find ID of one. And there we go, so the, the record is no longer found, which means our delete control action is working successfully. That's all for the destroy controller action. The only thing we haven't handled is the case where this raises an exception. In a future video, we'll come back and add some exception handling for this. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.